Hey guys, Pringle Gaming here, and welcome to the Wolverhampton Wanderers squad review. Now this team does look fantastic, and the squad looks like it could do pretty well in, well, the Champions Shield. I'm hoping that this squad will do very, very well. So in goal, we've got Akume, whose stats really look good, and he's a pretty high-rated goalkeeper for being in the Championship. Then we've got up the left-back position, Scott Goldborn, who looks like he could be a very good card. I wanted to use him last FIFA, but unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to. In the centre-back position, we have Ethan ebanks Landau, who, of course, is playing for Millwall in my current career mode. He's partnered by Bath, whose pace does look a bit disappointing, but the defending and physical stats pretty much outweigh any bad pace. Now we've got in the right-back position, Afora, who's probably going to bomb up the pitch and do a great job at helping James Henry out. The midfield is McDonald, Price and Edwards. They all look like they could do really well. Price looks like he could be more of a defensive player. Edwards is going to be more of an attacking, and McDonald is going to help out in every single area of the pitch. We then have the left midfielder, which is Ojo. He's on loan from Liverpool. His stats maybe look a little bit disappointing, but I'm hoping that pace will help him get down the wing, and even if he has to play the ball to someone else, he can at least do a job there. The striker is then Benikafobe, and then right midfielder is James Henry. These two used to play for Millwall. Afobe was only on loan, but Henry was a permanent player. So what about on the bench? Right, so this is the bench. So we got Emanuelo Martinez. I think he's on loan from Arsenal, but he does look like he could be a very, very good backup goalkeeper. Then have Rowe and two left-backs that are going to be playing in the centre-back position in House and Deslantes. The right-back is Doherty. The midfielders are then Bukhari, who looks very, very good. That pace could be very helpful bombing forward. And the dribbling's still pretty decent for a player that plays for Wolves. Cody and Saville are pretty decent. They both look similar statted wise and I think they could both do a decent job on moving forward. Then Graham, unfortunately the only good stats he has is pace and dribbling. His shooting, passing and physical all look terrible and that could be a problem for a left midfielder but nevertheless that pace should hopefully help me bomb forward. Lafondre looks like he could be a very lethal striker. He's definitely going to determine whether the backup team is going to do really well. Then the final player is Van Lapara. His stats look pretty good. The only disappointing side is he shooting? I would have wished it to be a bit higher, but you can't think that sometimes stats are very low because sometimes you'll be very surprised by how well players play despite having low stats. You never know. Players like Savile might dominate the pitch and they're only bronzes. So let's get into our first game in the Champion Shield. You know the drill. Let's see if we can win it. Right, we've found our first opponent of the video. So let's see what we have to come up against. Okay, so Lopez in goal. Kurzakar and left back, Umtiti and Marquinhos in the centre back, Vanderville at right back. We then have Fakir, Valbuena, and I don't know the centre midfielder. We then have Lavetsi. Bo oh, actually, the centre midfielder is Clement Grenier. So actually, I do know who he is. So let's see how we can do. Hopefully, we can get a win. Hopefully, this team's going to be very, very good. Now, Price has the ball. He plays it to McDonald. McDonald plays it up the pitch for a Fobe. A Fobe's still going. It's Benica Fobe! He's beaten the defenders, and he has put it in the back of the net. The striker has been fantastic, and it's a dominant performance. He just about got past the defender there, and there you go. He puts it home to make it 1-0. Into a Fobe. What can the striker do down the wing? Of course, he was a force to create that first goal. And now he's still going. He's playing really, really well. Benica Fobe, does he get a second goal? He doesn't. He hits the post. And there you go. It looks like Ojo puts it in the back of the net. And we're winning 2-0. This has been a breeze at the moment. Hopefully, the game doesn't change. But this team is playing fantastic. Fobe is very, very dominant going forward. Unfortunately, he hit the post. But Ojo had an empty goal to convert that ball. And, of course, he did. It's now 2-0. We're very, very lucky. Now the ball's with a Fobe, and of course he will get tackled. Now Fekir has the ball. He's very dangerous going forward. That's a great pass to Borvo. What can Borvo do here? What a save by Akime there. We were very, very fortunate. And now Viabuena has the ball. They play up the pitch for Grenier. Grenier still going. Come on, Grenier. What a save again by Akume. He's making a lot of solid saves to keep us in this game. Ojo crosses it into the area. Oh, that's a great chance, and we are very unlucky there because Afobe was very close to converting that opportunity. Well, connection has been lost with my opponent. I don't think he quit. I really think it was the fact that, for some reason, games quit on themselves. 
So, let's quickly have a look at the team. Now I can. Akune played fantastic. Now, how many saves did he make? He made six, and of course we did win the game 2-0. Afobe and Ojo with the goals. So let's quickly see the stats of this game. So in all fairness, the stats actually pointed towards him winning the game, but I did win it 2-0, or well, I'm hoping I did, because it's in the second half and I was winning 2-0, so I'm expecting the disconnect to say that it was mine because I was winning, because that's what usually happens, especially past the second half. But all I've got to say quickly is there is actually a subscriber that is subscribed to my channel that actually supports Wolf, so I'm hoping I'm going to do a great job for them and they can be very happy with the performance of the team. Now, all I've got to say as well, just before I get into the next game, is I love the Wolverhampton Wanderers home kit because it's orange and, of course, I love orange. So let's get into the next game. Hopefully, we have progressed into the next round because that will make my life a lot easier because then we get the chance to play in the next round with the backup team, which could be very, very good. Right, before we go into the next game, this is the backup team. Of course, I do have these two left-backs playing out of position. So, in fact, that actually lowered the chemistry down. So, we have 99 chemistry, and that's only thanks to the fact that Steve McLaren is going to be the manager for this game, for this team. So, let's see how this team plays in the second game. Hopefully, we can get a good opponent. And, well, hopefully the game won't end before 90 minutes of football. So, let's go and see what happens. Right, so we found our second opponent of the video. So they've got Alon Courtois, Barbo in the left back, Zuma, Smalling, Coleman, Navas, one of my favourite players, Schneiderlin, Ramirez, Walcott, Falcao, and Martial. Some of them have training cards on them. So is that going to make a difference? And of course, the recently sacked Brendan Rogers. So let's see how this team goes on. Hopefully, we can get a win. And well, this backup team should be pretty good. So let's see how they. F the league team. Falcao still going. Falcao's had a great chance on Martinez with a great save there. What can Anthony Martial do? He's still going. Martial, there you go. He scores. Unfortunately, I cannot defend people dribbling in and out of my players as I really struggle to grasp getting the ball off of them. What can Graham do here? Graham's still going. He's got past one defender. Graham, he's still going, it's Graham, oh, and that was a great chance there, I think it deflected off a defender, we have got a corner there, Walcott now has the ball again, played it up the pitch to Anthony Martial, who's going to play in, Fio Walcott by the look of it, Walcott, he's going to play it across, and there was no goalkeeper in the net, and it has gone in the back of the net for 2-0, Martinez went walkabouts, and there's no time to be out your net, as they have gone and put the ball in the back of the net. It was Anthony Martial yet again. Falcao still going. He shoots and what a save by Martinez there. What can Cody do? Cody plays it up the pitch for Hulse. What can Hulse do? Hulse with a shot. The goalkeeper's off his line. Van La Parra, what a goal. The defender couldn't stop it from going in the back of the net. And that was a great goal. We were very lucky to score it. And I was very, very confused. How House was this far up the pitch. But of course, I am playing on all-out attack. And that strike was fantastic. Despite the defender's best effort, he couldn't keep it from going past the line. It's now 2-1 to Cody. Cody, that's a great pass to Adam Lafondre. Lafondre with the strike and Courtois with a fantastic save. Well, there you go. We have lost the game 2-1, unfortunately. The stats say we should have won that game. And unfortunately, we gave away two goals to the opposition. Lafondre wasn't a brilliant striker, but the force going forward was fantastic. I think next time I concede a goal, I'm just going to go straight out on all-out attack because that seemed to help me so much going forward. And, well, we're going to have to go into yet another round of the tournament and start all over again and see what we can do from that point. All right, so finally we have got an opponent for our first game round. The final two games that we played recently quit in the first three minutes. So, checking goal, Aspilicueta, Company, Otamendi, Zabaleta, Fernandinho, Eriksson, Yaya Toure, Depay, James Wilson, and William. This team looks fantastic. And I've got to say, I really think I'm going to struggle in this game. Yes, he is. He's taking off James Wilson for Carlos Tevez. Well, I don't know what to make of that. Obviously, the chemistry fact was the fact that he didn't want to play Carlos Tevez, but he's wasting a sub straight away. Yeah, Carlos Tevez. That's a great chance. Oh, and unfortunately, we couldn't stop it from going past the net. And we are very, very unfortunate here. 
and it doesn't let you see the replay. There's nothing I could do. My defense was all over the place, and somehow he still managed to turn the ball into the back of the net. He's actually doing really well. Ojo, that's a great pass to Edwards. Edwards with the strike. It's blocked. He dropped to Kevin McDonald. Oh, and a phobe. Oh, and check clears it off the line. Shambles there in the defense, and somehow we still haven't scored. It's a great pass to Carlos Tevez. Oh, and that's a stupid, stupid challenge there. And that could easily be a red card as well. It is. Well, Ethan Ebanks Lando is going to be sent off. And they don't let me show you the challenge again. It was a very, very stupid challenge. And, of course, he was going to get the red card for that. It's Carlitos Tevez. What is he going to do here? Tevez to take. And there you go. It's 2-0. This is pretty much game over. With one less player in defence, I think it's safe to say that I'm getting dominated. Right, the game's quit on itself again. That's the third time in a row I actually haven't been able to play a game online for ages now. And for some reason, it just keeps quitting itself out. This is getting ridiculous. EA really need to sort this out. Instead of sorting out the problems with people sniping, that's not an issue in this game. The issue is not being able to play games. And, well, it's really annoying me now because it's so many games that I've been affected by it. I think in my Nottingham Forest one, I had about three games that quit on itself and now three games and before that I had a few as well and I've been trying to enjoy myself without doing squad reviews and just playing the game itself and I can't do that because every game that I play it disconnects the only time it doesn't disconnect is when I'm actually playing someone that I've got on my friends list so I'm gonna give it one more go and I'll show you the goals from this game I might as well and then if it quits again unfortunately I'm gonna to have to end it there it's not my fault at the moment EA for some reason just want everyone not to play games so let's go find another game hopefully we can actually play a game because it's actually starting to annoy me so let's go find another game this is the final opponent I'll be playing if the game quits on itself then I just can't be bothered because I've played so many games now that it's just done that so we got Helton in goal I think that's Alicia we then have Fogueras at the right back, Andre Andre, Raul Maleros, Abel Tarat, Nani Abubakar and Corona. Now I don't know the two centre backs. Abubakar still going. Oh, and what a goal by Abubakar. There was nothing I could do there. That was a fantastic strike. A sensational effort. And well, what do I say to that? That strike was amazing and it hit off the... Doherty to Van Lepara. Van Lepari gets tackled there, and we have indeed won a penalty. We could get back into this game. The challenge was very, very stupid. I think it was to wrap that challenged me, but in fairness, I did just run into the player that was on the ground so I could get a penalty. But nevertheless, we have got a penalty. Adam Lefondre versus Helton. Can Adam Lefondre score? No, he can't. And we have got a corner. The game's ended again, right? Unfortunately, that's it. I'm so annoyed. I cannot believe it. How many games I've actually been here that it's done that. You'll get to see this goal, but I didn't even get to play 15 minutes in a match. It's so frustrating. I literally don't understand why it's doing this. It's ridiculous. It's happened so many times now. Unfortunately, I didn't get a good review of this team. But let me quickly go over some of the players that I thought played really well. So let me get into the team sheets and I'll show you that and then I'll quickly tell you who I recommend but unfortunately as far as the performance goes I don't actually know I could tell you the players that I felt played pretty well when I played but it's just ridiculous so let's get into the team menu and see what happens there right so here we are this is the sheet of the players that we are playing with or we did play with for about one game and the rest well little parts of games so in terms of who I thought played well, well, Akume was a great goalkeeper. He was making a lot of great saves. Unfortunately, I didn't get to test him out too much. So, I wouldn't know how it was like against the likes of Lewandowski and Muller, who I've come up against in the game. I'm actually going to show you some of the teams that I came up against in the game. So, it actually ended pretty quickly. What I'll do is I'll play them just before I end the video. So, you can actually see some of the teams I could have faced. So, we got Akume, he played pretty well. Goldborn was pretty good at going forward. Gotta say, Bath wasn't fantastic. Landor was alright, but he did get that red card. Afora was pretty decent moving forward, so I definitely recommend him. The only bad side to him is, do you want him to stay back or do you want him to defend? McDonald was very, very good 
uh, everything. Price, well, he was alright, but he wasn't fantastic. Edwards, again, wasn't fantastic. Ojo, surprisingly, he was actually brilliant. So, if you want a little English team, or a bronze English team, if you want to do a challenge to use a bronze English team, then I'd definitely recommend him. He was a fantastic player. It surprised me about how good he was. Now, Benekafobe, he was fantastic. He created a lot of good opportunities in the game he actually played in. Now, unfortunately, because of, well... The games that have quit on themselves it says he's played four games he's only got a total of about one game in total so it's really annoying that he has four games and one goal because he could have scored a lot more because he is so good as a striker and he definitely dominated some of the best defenses that i come up against when i was playing like the first three minutes of the game against the really good bundesliga team he actually dominated hummels and i was really really frustrated that i didn't actually get to play that game for that long because I think he would have done a great job. Henry was pretty decent moving forward by 40 would be good. Anyway, now onto the bench. So what are the outstanding players on the bench? Martinez, he was disappointing in the game that he did get to play. Rowe, can't really say much about him. Graham was actually alright. His stats that were low didn't really matter as he got forward all the time. Van Lepara, he was actually really rapid and he definitely got past defenders when he needed to. So these two I definitely recommend. Doherty, couldn't say much about him because, as again, I don't really do much in terms of defending and attacking in the game because they quit. But in the time which I did play, these two made a big difference, of course, because I was attacking. Bakari, he was pretty decent, but I wouldn't say that you should go get him because I didn't really use him that much. But in the times that I did use him, he was pretty good going forward. Adam Lefondre, now... I've got to say, he wasn't really good at all, and he did miss a penalty, so all I can say is he was a very, very rubbish striker, and I wouldn't recommend him. He was disappointing. Saville, he was all right, but he's a bronze, so it's up to you whether you want to get him. House and Deslantes. I can't really comment on them. Like, I can see they had a bunch of goals against some of the players when the games do quit straight away, and, well... I would say they're at fault and they're not great as centre-backs, so don't really get them. And if you want them for a left-back, they're not even the backup left-back choice, so it isn't worth it. And Cody, well, he was pretty solid in the midfield area. Now, unfortunately, in terms of gameplay, I don't have too much to show you guys, but I will show you every goal that I have. Unfortunately, most of them are me conceding them, but I'm one of these players that concedes goals and then comes back in games. So, I don't know, make of that as you will but unfortunately this is all I've got I am not going to continue for another couple of hours again trying to get into games for it to quit itself because that is just wasting time and it's been like that for a couple of days now I was very fortunate with the Nottingham Forest one that I managed to get enough games off so I don't know why it's doing it but if I do get any other games that I'll play what I'll do is I'll try and do some more before I upload this video and well if I can get some more games in it, it'd be perfect, but I don't know whether I will be able to. So, this is all I've got for now. If I get any more games, I will add it on to what I have before, because then we can at least have another chance. Uh, well, doing well, and unfortunately, as I said, I didn't get to review these very well. And I'm actually really frustrated, and I do apologise to the Wolverhampton Wanderers fan that probably wanted to see their squad in action. And didn't really get much of that because the servers, for some reason, wanted to kick people off and wanted to end the game, well, after under 15 minutes. It's absolutely stupid. And, well, this team would have been alright as well. It would have been as good as the Nottingham Forest team, I reckon. So, I'm really annoyed. I'm so sorry. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on the short bits that you do get to see. I'm really, really frustrated. And all I can say is that yet again, I'm very, very sorry. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next squad review, which is hopefully going to be Paraguay. And, well, I'm hoping that in that time, they would have sorted this problem out. Instead of sorting out problems like getting rid of the sniping ability and people accidentally putting players up, because that's not an issue in the game. This is the real issue not being able to play online because the game just ends itself. Now, I don't know whether that's just in cup games, but if it is, it's really annoying. And cup games are the form that I want to challenge myself in, and I really can't. So like, comment, subscribe, and of course, I'll see you guys in the next squad review, which will be Paraguay. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully the video will be a lot better than this one.
Goodbye.